I, Stephanie Bain, Stephanie Bain, I have a books, 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 I, I, I'm a book writer. There's so many books. <laughs> it's a little hot in my room. <gasps> Hello everyone, today I'm here to talk to you about something really serious. And, you know, I don't really know where to begin, but I'm just going to start by saying other people would call. <laughs> I was really trying to stay serious. The book slump. No, but today I'm here to talk to you about the horrible condition called the book slump slash the book hangover. They're similar. They're two very different things, but I'm going to help you through this. I will help you, you know, clarify your symptoms and we'll see what happens. So the first thing is, let's go ahead and talk about the book hangover. All it is, is reading a really, really great book and everything else just doesn't live up to it. At least for me, I've been able to continue while in a book hangover. I may not enjoy the books as much because I want to continue reading, you know, let's, for example, The Bone Season, Red Rising, Outlander. Those are all books that gave me book hangovers. So the books that I read after them just didn't match up. And problem is, is if you're in a really serious book hangover, it can lead you to a book slump. It, if you don't find something after a few books that it may not necessarily have to be the greatest book ever and beat out the one that you're hanging over, but it has to be something that does grasp your attention. And if you don't find that, sometimes you get into book slump and don't worry guys, it's not contagious, but it's a serious issue because Goodreads out the door what goal? I, I don't know. I, I don't have a goal, right? That's, you know, but some doesn't care if you have a goal on your Goodreads. It doesn't care if you have a hundred books to read on your TBR list. It doesn't care about anything. It's an evil, evil condition that I've been in now for like two and a half months. Literally book slump equals book depression. It's depression and book formation. And all it is is I don't want to read. I don't want to read anything right now. I'm really like, the thing is though, it's kind of like I want to read, but I don't feel like it. There you go. I don't feel like reading, but I want to. I just haven't had that like, oh, I feel like reading something urge. Hence why my books have stayed on my TBR list or Un half read, half unread. And anyway, let's go back into book hangover very quickly. But point is, a book hangover is just when you haven't found something and you're still hung up on a book. You're still thinking about the plot twist to that one book, the characters in that one book. You're hung up on that book. That is your babe. That is the love of your life. Book slump is you do not want to touch books. You pick up a book, you read two pages and you're like, I don't want to read that anymore. Like, I I've picked up so many books in these last two and a half months. Nothing except kind of sort of The Hundred by Cass Morgan has actually kind of sort of made me want to read. And it is a, it's, it's a huge, huge struggle. And I don't really like there are ways to avoid it, which I'll get into this. I think I've maybe made a video about this in the past. But anyway, the thing is, is it's really hard to avoid a book slump. And now we're going to get into the tricky part. Good books can put you in a good sl uh, book slump. Good books can put you in a book slump. How does that make sense? I loved, loved Night Film by Marisha Pessel. But guess what? That is the reason why I'm in a book slump. I read that book. I loved the book. It was super, like intense and everything but when I was done with it I was just like I don't want to read I don't want to look at books I don't want to see books I'm just like what Netflix I start uh, shows in general shows in general have influenced and helped feed my book slumpish thoughts and they have just bedridden me and watching TV all night as opposed to reading all night like I don't understand what I'm supposed to do with myself. Like, it's just so complicated because things like Game of Thrones came into my life and The Hundred and Under the Dome started again. And you guys have already known, have already know that I've talked to you about this in the past, in the last like few videos I've made where TV shows, they're a drug. 
They're bad influencers. That's what they are. That is what TV shows are. Damn good entertainment, but bad influencers when it comes to reading if you're already in a book slump. They will make you relapse. You think you're out of that book slump and then you start watching TV again and guess what? You're back into the book slump and you don't know how the hell to get out of it. It is so difficult and I just don't even know how to deal right now, okay? Uh, sorry, my eyes are getting watery because I think I got something in there so I just kind of rolled with the crying. I don't know what to tell you. Book slump, book hangover. Let's just say book hangover is how it starts sometimes and then book slump is what it ends to. You relapse and then you like you're cured from the book slump um, and then you relapse. What are you gonna do about it? Life is hard guys. You just have to stay strong. You have to have faith in yourself and you have to also just let yourself slump. Sometimes it's really necessary to just stop reading don't read as much, take a break from it, and I mean, I think I would have been out of my book slump if I hadn't, like, forced myself to read, but I had a goal on my Goodreads that I really wanted to keep of 100 books. I know I'm not going to reach that now. I mean, two months have just gone, and I have not made not one dent in my my TV. So the only thing I can tell you is if you're feeling book slumpish and you don't feel like reading, don't read. I mean, don't go look for a new TV show to watch like I did because then you're really it's gonna be a while before you start reading again and if you don't want that to happen just like take a break a, a week break chill if you feel and then when you feel like picking up the book pick up the book and start reading it but really I mean there's not much you can do everyone's different certain things set people off when it comes to book slums I am struggling with mine you will get out of it don't worry I might, I don't know, we'll see, it's probably going to be 2017, oh, I still haven't read the rest of the hundred, no, I'm kidding, I seriously need to finish that book, and yeah, don't worry, hang in there, and maybe we'll survive this together, I hope you guys like this video, it's just me ranting, being frustrated about being in a book slump, but anyway, I will see you guys next time, have a beautiful reading day, or book slumpish day, don't worry. We'll get through this together. Bye!